G'day there. Welcome to Gardening with Greta. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, with worsening drought conditions, there's a certain group of Aussies that are doing it really tough. That's right, the state politicians. From completely mismanaging our waterways to supporting the coal industry, they've found it really, really tough to deal with the environmental crisis. So we've all got to do our bit to help them avoid responsibility for making the drought worse. And that's why I'm here at Martin Place in Sydney's CBD to check out their drought-proof garden. Come on! It's a pop-up installation designed to inspire everyday Aussies to cut down on water use in their own garden. Unveiled by New South Wales Water Minister Melinda Pavey. Minister Pavey and her Queensland counterpart oversee the funneling of 50,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools of fresh water to coal-fired power stations over eastern Australia every year. Isn't that something? Get a load of these gorgeous little your problem now suckers. These plants sustain themselves solely from moisture in the atmosphere. So you better plant some of these in your garden because we're going to need all the fresh water we can get for those poor coal-fired power stations. Wow, it's a publicity stunt. Now these succulents have a beautiful flower which is perfect distraction for the multitude of ways the government has messed up water management. Now this publicity stunt needs a lot of sunlight, so make sure it's out in the open where everyone can see it and be distracted by it. And keep those nasty government policies far, far away. Of course, no drought proof garden is complete without some shifting focus. These beautiful plants place the responsibility for climate change solely on the individual without any corporate accountability. Isn't that amazing? But make sure you hit it with a little blatant hypocrisy to get it going. Look over here. It's a look over here. Now, if you're lucky enough to have one of these in your garden, and you will be, because pretty soon not much else is going to be able to survive, you can just leave it alone to flourish. Unlike the men in D Lakes, the government drained them, and we still don't know why. And who could forget the please look away from our catastrophic failures. Now, these leaves actually weaponise personal responsibility against the individual, so you forget the real culprits of water mismanagement makes them a hell of a lot tougher than those weak, pathetic, darling river fish. I mean, who needs millions upon millions of fish when we can have a distraction garden? And that's been our tour of the Drought Proof Garden. Now you know what you can do to solve the drought crisis, because the government's not going to do anything. 